Hey there, Grateful Dead fans. So, uh, first of all, thanks for all the emails and all the support, the ratings, and the, uh, you know, good vibes that are coming in from you to me uh, for uh, spending a little time just having fun. So, uh, tonight, I thought I'd tell you all a uh, Jerry Garcia story. It's the only one I have. And uh, when I was a young lad, about uh, 20, um, I was always in the front of the uh, room. You know, I'd always be pressed up against the glass when the uh, stadium was about to open because uh, I wanted to be right there up against the wall, you know, pressed, you know, sardine-like sitting there so I could just watch the boys. And um, I had a camera back in those days and I took a picture of Jerry. And then uh, I was an enterprising boy, and I had it made into a, uh, you know, a big poster. And I would sell them after the shows. You know, I'd have to leave uh, right there in the encore, right? Just as, uh, you know, uh, Sugar Magnolia was wrapping up, and I'd run outside to the car, open the trunk, and get all the posters out, and then go out and sell them outside for a buck a piece. And, uh, you know, that was the way I made a living back in those days. But at one uh, venue, I think it was Philly, Philly Spectrum, the, uh, I had to get permission to sell the thing. They told me I needed permission. So uh, I got into the stadium ahead of the crowd. I don't know. I went through the servants, you know, service entrance in the back. And uh, so I'm walking in there, and here's the, uh, here's the Philly Spectrum. There's nobody in there yet. All the crowds are outside. And the dead are warming up up on the stage. So I found somebody who looked kind of official and uh, said, uh, you know, I got to talk to somebody. I got to get permission to sell these posters. And uh, they said, well, you're going to have to ask Jerry, man. I said, I'm going to have to ask Jerry. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's, you can see Jerry's up there on the stage warming up. He's doing the sound check. So I kind of, you know, walk up to Jerry, up at, you know, hey, Jerry, he's up on the stage. And uh, I said, hey, Jerry. So I'm interrupting Jerry Garcia during the sound check and looking back, I mean, that's so ridiculous. But anyway, that's what I did. <laughs> and uh, Jerry, uh, he's, you know, he's got, he's looking down, he says, uh, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> I said, Jerry, I got to get permission to uh, sell these posters. And uh, Jerry Garcia looked at me and he said, uh, in the only words he ever spoke to me, he said, uh, man, I don't care what the fuck you do. <laughs> so I said, okay, Jerry, thanks. And, uh, you know, proceeded to sell the posters. So that's kind of the guy he was, because, you know, he didn't care about anything except playing the, playing the music. And uh, so that's the story. And uh, now, as far as the guitar goes, uh, the first time I saw The Dead was in August of uh, 72 at Roosevelt Stadium in Jersey City, New Jersey. And so I saw my first Dead show, and I won't, you know, you, you know what that's all about. So uh, the next day, I bought a guitar. I said, because now I knew, you know, this is what I want to do. You know, so life took its twists and turns, and I ended up doing other things, you know, making a living. And <laughs> Man, try, you know, making some money, raising a family, doing the whole thing, but, um, I never lost uh, the uh, desire to, to uh, play guitar that way. And uh, so that's what I try to do is uh, comp some of those licks. And if you're watching this, you do the same thing. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do is show you another lick, this time Althea. So hang on a sec. <laughs> 